So here's the solution to this question that I posted on my Instagram. We have parentheses with 1 plus 2 inside and then raised to a third power, and then parentheses with 4 minus 5 inside, and then over 6 times 7 minus 8 times 9. Yes, I used 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 for this question. That's how I like to create my questions whenever possible. But anyway, though, if you haven't tried this already, please pause the video right now. Try it first before you watch the solution. Done? Right, leave your answer in the comments. Now let's go over this. This is an order of operation question, so let's do this. Just focus the top, and then after that, work out the bottom, and then at the end we divide. So I think that's the best way. So I will write this down here for you guys. For the top, we have one plus two to the third power, and then four minus five. Remember the order of operations we always have to do inside of the parentheses first. So have a look. Here we have 1 plus 2. That's inside of this parentheses, we work that out first. 1 plus 2, we get 3. So let's write down 3, and then maintain this parentheses, and then to the third power. And then here we see that we have 4 minus 5. That's also inside of the parentheses. So I'm going to also work that out. 4 minus 5, we get negative 1. Because yeah, 5 is bigger than 4, and then we are taking more from the 4. Now we have what? This is 3 to the third power, and then parentheses now right here means we multiply by negative 1. So exponent next. We are going to work this out, 3 to the third power. So 3 to the third power, though, means what? Means 3 times 3 times 3. That's what the exponent is for. It tells you, write this number down however many times, and then multiply. 3 times 3 is 9 times 1 more 3, we get 27. So that will be right here, 27. And then we are going to still put down the parentheses and then the negative 1. This is 27 times negative 1, so we have negative 27. So we can come back here and say we have this right here. The top is negative 27. Now we have to work out about it. So let me write this down right here real quick. We have 6 times 7 and then minus 8 times 9. So we just have multiplication and then subtraction. Remember, we multiply first before we subtract. So look at 6 times 7. And of course, note your times table. 6 times 7 gives us 42. And then 8 times 9 is a multiplication. Multiply that. Note your times table. We get 72 and then bring down the minus. Have a look. 42 minus 72, we get negative, and then you get 30 for that. So in fact, the bottom right here is negative 30. OK, can we do anything else? Well, remember, whenever we end up with a fraction, we always want to check if we can reduce this or not. Here we have 27, here we have 30. Think about a number that goes into 27 and 30 evenly. 3, 3 works. So I'm going to divide this by 3. Divide this by 3. Of course, you can also do this mentally, but I just want to write it down. We are using 3 to reduce this. 27 divided by 3, we get 9. Over, and then 30 divided by 3, we get 10. Just like that. Finally, negative times negative, sorry, negative divided by negative, we get positive. So there's nothing anymore. You don't have to put down the plus. This is a positive 9 over 10. So that being said, the answer is just 9 over 10. And we're done. That's it.